You want to chew your food enough. A lot of people are not chewing their food enough. I thought that I had something like leaky gut syndrome for a while because I would, you know, as everybody, you know, you do it. Sometimes you turn around and look and, you know, see the consistency of the poop and what's in the what's in the bowl. And I would see like little pieces of food in there for a long time. But I also do consistent gut tests and I rarely had, you know, elevated levels of zonulin or markers of, of leaky gut or anything like that. I don't get that. Like the foods actually, it was, it was my mouth. I actually, because of the way that my teeth were worn down, I was chewing un- you're mashing. Unchewed, you know, mashed up kind of half ground food, and it was winding up in my stool. Mm-hmm. My food was like liquid goo when I swallowed. I'm very careful not to rip open things with my front teeth anymore because I don't want to ruin all the hard work that we've been doing. But I used to kind of like rip meat with my front teeth and yeah. do a lot with my front teeth. Now I'm using the ones that are farther back. What happened and, and, and how should people chew? So the front teeth are for tearing. So you can chew with the, you can tear with the front teeth. Okay. Chewing is for the back teeth. And tearing would be like if you're eating Beef like jerky. chicken on the bone and maybe you're ripping the, the chicken breast off the bone or the, yeah. the chicken leg off the bone or something like that. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Meats and stuff. So the fact that you said your food was a consistency of soup is really good. That's what you want. You want to chew your food enough. A lot of people are not chewing their food enough. 